So let's build a guitar. Fender Mod Shop, let's go. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name's Nick. I'm a guitarist here on YouTube. Let's build a couple guitars and we're gonna do this through the Fender Mod Shop. If you haven't seen this on Instagram or you know, side ads on when you're scrolling um, Sweetwater, then you're missing out. This is a cool thing Fender does because Fender guitars have a lot of interchangeable parts. You can thank Eli Whitney for that. They really just allow you to choose what you want to put on certain models a la carte, basically. I personally like building and modding guitars, so let's get into it. All right, so we're here on the Fender Mod Shop page. Let's go to, okay, so we can choose through uh, a bunch of different models, right? You got the Acoustasonic, um, Stratocaster, Telecaster, Jazzmaster, that's pretty sweet. Um, oh, a Jaguar, Precision Bass, and Jazz Bass and Acoustasonic, the Telecaster version. The only thing I don't see here is a Mustang, but you know, maybe they'll add it later. Uh, let's just go with a, you know, Stratocaster right off the bat, right? Simple, Let's see what we can do here. Loading, loading, all right, starts out with that black, Already it looks good. Um, we'll see what we can do and we'll see. We'll see what the price ends up being. Um, it's already starting out at two thousand dollars But if this is a, an American made strat um, That I can get I still think it's too expensive, but um, We'll work around that so body. Let's see. Let's go with mahogany or roasted pine that gives you that um, You can get the wood grain. So I like the solid colors. So we'll stick with that um, What are we gonna go with here? I've always dug a seafoam um, fender, but let's see what we got. Uh, we'll go with this one. We'll go with this kind of like hot rotted, I don't know, 50s diner looking green blue. And then um, next shape. So, wow. Looks like you can get a solid 100% rosewood neck. Is that what I'm looking at? Rosewood, 100% rosewood. Hmm. I don't know what the rainforests are going to think about that, but it does look good. Check that out. Wow. You know, this is going to be a really unique look. Not a lot of people have fenders with dark headstocks. So if you're looking to kind of stand out, this might be for you. Modern C. So it looks like they have modern C's, C's, uh, soft V if you're really into like the angular feel, thick C, C to D. Um, yeah, I'm more of a C guy. Um, I like a little bit of the C's a little bit more ro robust than the D. Now the V, I don't know. Who would want to be? But some people do. A lot of famous players have played them. Um, let's stick with this big headstock. Huge big headstock fan, like the Ingve Malmsteen look. Um, we'll go with that. All right. Um, fingerboard option. I'm a maple guy. I have a lot of guitars with rosewood, and I'm sick of it. So let's do maple. And that looks great with that with that uh, green, whatever color it is, green, blue. So pickups. Now this is probably the most important part, right? Because um, this is where a lot of the sound is going to come from and we'll see what options they have. Um, looks like, so they have a Corona Classic. Looks like the humbucking options that they have are the Shaw Buckers, which are good. They're good, good pickups. The thing I'm seeing here is that all the pickups are Fender brand. So it looks like you're going to walk out of the mod shop strictly with Fender products. And I mean, that's what they're going to do. I would personally like to see some more pickup options because that could actually bring the price down a little bit because we're still sitting about $2,000 in. Whew. One thing I did see is that they have the Texas Special Stratocaster, the single coils. Those are great pickups um, and are probably a good deal wrapped up in this package. Um, but for me, I'm going to go with the, I've always liked the single coils in the neck and middle pickup with a chrome bridge. So we'll go with that. Moving on to pick guard material. Um, I do like the white. Let's see what we can do. Oh, well, we can do like a polar white almost. Um, maybe we should just add a little flavor in here. I like that. I'll take it. The tortoise shell, right? Why not? Um, plastic parts. We're staying with the aged white. You could be a monster and get that very clean looking bright white. Um, but we'll go with aged white. We'll make this thing look rather aged. That's what the black looks like. Um, tuning machines. So this is another part about the Fender Mod Shop. That's pretty cool. You can get, I think it's three different tuners. Um, the Fender Standard, you can get locking tuners, which is something I absolutely have to have. So we'll put that on there. Or you get the classic tuners. A lot of people like the classic tuners, especially on tellies. So we'll go with those with the bridge. So let's look at our bridge options. Six saddle hardtail bridge. You can get a hardtail and it looks like they have two trims to pick from. One that's synchronized and the other uh, that's a deluxe synchronized um, with better saddles. So what you're not gonna see here, sorry metal guys, is like a Floyd Rose. Um, it looks like as a whole, when you walk away from the Fender Mod Shop, you're gonna get something that's very Fender to its core. 
you're not really going to get a metal guitar or have those options. Um, not that people haven't played these styles of guitars in metal before. Dave Murray played a regular Fender Stratocaster that was black. I think it was an HSH setup. Um, no Floyd Rose. So, but yeah, you're not going to get the modern metal stuff. So we'll we'll stick with the synchronized uh, deluxe here. All right. Actually, we'll go with the we'll go with the regular one. Now hardware. <clears throat> Don't need fender strap locks, don't need those. And then you do get a string option, so nines or tens. I'll go with nines for this. And then uh, you get a case, so that's cool. All right, so I gotta do it. Let's look at a Telecaster and see what we can do with this thing. Loading, 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 loading. 90%, okay. Whoa, so right off the bat, I would buy this Telecaster. The same, but let's mod it a little bit. So we have the alder body that'll give you those solid colors, right? And there's over 40 colors you can choose from. Um, mahogany, I still want the solid color. So we'll go with a, we'll go with this burst right here, okay? Um, this Antigua kind of burst. And let's check out the next shape. Well, all right, so we got the rosewood option, the full rosewood option. And then it looks like, looks like you can add almost a fender style headstock to this thing. Have you, I've never seen that before. Check that out. Whoa, that is awesome. So we'll go with that. Um, modern C, so that works for me. Fingerboard option, I think on a telly I wanna keep this the dark rosewood. It does look good with the maple, but for this telly, let's stay, let's, let's stay with that. Big guard material, I like it how it is. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's leave it how it is, I like it. Pickups. Now, this is what I'm interested in. I'm interested to see if uh, with the tellies you can get the different pickup configurations because with the different configurations, you're going to have a different bridge, right? Um, in the really old classic style tellies, you have the bridge that has the single coil in it. So we'll see if we can change that up. Uh, Corona Classics. So another thing is that these guitars come out of the Corona shop in Corona, California, which is probably makes the Fender's, Fender's best QC guitars and best made guitars. So coming from the mod shop, you're, you're probably going to get a well-made guitar. Um, okay, so we have the Nashville Generation 4 noiseless pickups. Um, looks like you can throw in. All right, so we can do this. We can throw in a double humbucker setup. And like I said, it just changes the bridge into a hardtail setup. And that's kind of cool. I like that. I've never been a fan of the lipstick um, neck pickup. That's just me. Um, so let's keep going. Tuning machines, gotta have the, the locking tuners. Bridge, looks like you only get one choice of bridge. That's okay. Knob colors, um, we could go black. I kinda like black on the black pick guard. And then hardware, chrome, strings, um, nine. All right. And so this all comes out to about $2,000. I, I think the Stratocaster came out to about like 21. Um, is this worth it? Hard to say. One, you're getting an American made guitar to your specs, right? Um, this isn't a custom made guitar. This isn't something that's going to go through a great QC process that um, is going to make sure that everything's perfect. It might come set up. I've read a bunch of reviews that says one of them came set up. I read a ton of reviews that said it didn't. Just know this isn't a custom made guitar. This is a guitar that has interchangeable parts that they put on for you and say, here you go. Now, the pros is that this comes from the Corona California shop. So it comes from the best Fender shop in the world. Is all this worth $2,000? Now, you probably would pay around this price, maybe a bit cheaper for an American made right off the shelf, but it's not gonna have the exact specs you want. So that's gonna be something to kind of take into consideration. Would I buy this? Maybe, we'll see. Should I put it in my cart? Anyways, that's it for the Fender Mod Shop walkthrough. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you own one of these bad boys. Put your comments below. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Go ahead and subscribe below. And on that note, have a good day. I'll see you guys later.